this video is late again for the second week in a row. I'm really, really sorry. And um, obviously you would notice that I'm not home. I'm on holiday. It's a really nice place. I'll be back on Saturday, which also happens to be Halloween. And I've been out practically all day, which means I haven't really had much time to make videos. So I'm sorry. Anyway, moving on. The theme for this week is name your top 10 hobbies. Okay, here we go. Hobby number one is meeting new people. I love meeting new people. I meet a lot of new people a lot in both real life and online. And there's a lot of people I've known online for like, I don't know, a year and a half, two years. I really would like to meet in real life. And I love meeting new people through collab channels, which is part of the reason why I started one up in the first place, just to get new people, get to know new people who like the same things that I do and get to know them properly. Yeah. Hobby number two is acting, which I've always been a big fan of for quite a while. And I currently go to acting classes once a week. Number three is singing, which I like doing as well. And I can't really hit high notes. And I like to sing a range of songs, really. I haven't got a favourite type. Number four, listening to music. Again, I haven't really got a favourite type of music. But if I had to pick and choose, I'd be singing, listening to um, Broadway songs and Broadway musicals. And I like listening to a lot of stuff, really. No favourite types, like I said. Yeah. Number five, hearing different versions of songs. This is, this particularly when listening to Broadway songs, I like listening to foreign versions because it's weird how you listen to people singing foreign versions, different languages of the same songs. You understand, you know the words to these songs. You know, hearing it in foreign language so you know what it sounds like. And I also like listening to the workshops of the musicals like early drafts i think my favorite musical workshop has to be either the rent or next to normal ones and i also like making good from the original wicked workshop and from rent workshop i like valentine's day it's amazing how jonathan larson just wrote all these songs and had another subplot the maureen and mark subplot and then they just ditched it and got rid of all these songs and wrote new songs in their place. It's a whole different thing. The same thing kind of goes for Next to Normal, really, where you didn't really have many songs in the beginning, now they've got loads. And also the character of Henry didn't exist in the original version, which made Natalie a different person to what we see her as today. And I think that um, Superboy and the Invisible Girl from the workshop version is a really good one to listen to and also I like it because Dan and Diane Diana are played by Norbert Leo Butts and Sherry Rennie Scott if I'm saying it right who are two of my favourite Broadway actors yeah also heard that Anthony Rapp was in Fear and Electric as it was called back then that would be really awesome if I could hear him in it Hobby number six, being artistic. I don't have anything with me right now, but at home I've got a giant MP3 player. I made it because I love art and I love music, and I thought I'd combine the two. And it was also part of a class project. And I made it on one of my videos on my main channel as well. And I'll post a link to it. Hobby number seven, writing songs. I've been writing song lyrics for quite a while now. I'm also in the process of writing a musical script which I've written a couple of songs for and I can't really write music really so um, if I can get people to help me that'd be good but I've written a lot of lyrics for songs as well hobby number eight playing keyboard I haven't really been experienced with it either I've been doing it for like three or four months yeah. hobby number nine playing computer games I like playing Wii games and DS because I like the way you can interact. You get a Wii remote in this hand and nunchuck in this hand. I like Wii music and Wii sports because you can just imagine you, you're holding a tennis racket. You've got a Wii remote and you hit. And it's like hitting a tennis racket. 
this week cool. and the DS I like because it feels like you're actually touching things that are on the screen. I think my favourite DS game is Elite Beat Agents because it's got probably the best cover songs in it ever in the game. And hobby number 10 is surfing the internet. That's what I like doing the most. I like watching videos on YouTube, getting to know new people, as I've already said. Basically just looking around websites in general, really. Yeah. And now on to question and answer time. Last week, Natalie, aka XO2... Sorry, sorry. XO2 random for words. If I'm saying it right. Your question was... Have you ever been on a soccer team? Well, over here in the UK, we call it football. And um, no, I haven't, as I don't really watch it much. I'm not really interested in it. The only time I really watch it is if it's like World Cup and stuff. And my question for whoever posts the next video is, do you watch American Idol? And if so, who is your favourite contestant on it from any series? At the moment, mine has to be Adam Lambert. Okay, well, I'll see you next week then. Okay, bye.